Today we're gonna check out some black wizardry on typo that I never knew of. We're gonna check out how to transform a plain text into fully editable text in perspective. So first we're gonna draw the spine. So I'm gonna go to the fill, click on none, and click on the stroke so it's gonna be on the top, select the color for it, I'm gonna go with black. And now let's select the pencil. You can double click and set it up like this, make it all the way smooth, click OK, and just draw some waves. And it's going to correct some of the curvatures perfectly, but not all of them. So I'm going to correct it manually. I'm going to select this anchor point with the direct selection tool. I'm going to convert it to smooth and just go and select the delete anchor point tool, press and hold shift and just delete some of these anchor points. And with the direct selection tool, adjust the handles and clean up these lines. All right, so it looks something like this. Let's go and select the type tool and I'm going to go here and I'm going to click on the line and check that out. It automatically switched the spine with the text. By the way, I went with the mango grotesque extra bold font. And now from here to activate the magic, we're going to go to the type. Let's go to type on path and let's select type on path options. Let's check the preview box and we're going to change the effects. So I'm going to select the skew and it automatically put the text in perspective. Okay, so let's check out the rest. We got like 3D ribbon. Now check this out here. The letters are placed as in the dominoes. And then we got stair step. I mean, it does look like a stair step and not but least gravity. It seems like it stretches the center part quite a bit. I'm gonna need to figure this out, but I'm gonna go with the skew. Click OK. And if you wanna rename it, you can just double click and rename it however you want. And this was it for today. Thanks for watching.